Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be helping you understand how you can generate questions using ChatGPT. Generating questions is one of its capabilities and ChatGPT can help you create questions of various topics for SAT. If you have any specific requirements or topics in mind, then it is here to assist you. So I'll show you how you can leverage this ChatGPT to your advantage in generating questions just in a matter of few seconds. So we'll provide a prompt first for the literature domain from digital SAT, keeping difficulty level as medium. So let me enter the prompt here. So we have uh, entered a prompt that says that uh, please create a uh, peer passage question for reading and writing section in SAT with difficulty level medium, which asks students to analyze and compare the viewpoint of the authors of two different passages. So it will also provide us the choices and explanations. We will enter it and as we enter it, it will give the first paragraph of the passage it will provide us. So that's how easily it has provided us the explanation with the answer choices and also the question of it. Next, we'll uh, we'll try to enter a prompt, different prompt for the humanities. We will say it that create a passage, this question from humanities. We will enter the prompt and it will generate a passage based question from humanities domain of reading and writing section from digital SAT and how quickly and easily it will generate a question for us. So we are done with the generation of questions from English reading and writing section in digital SAT. But if you want more question, you can still go ahead. All you need is to enter the prompt. But if you need questions even from math section in digital SAT, then you can do so with the prompt. All you need to enter is the prompt like we are uh, giving the problem solving prompt which we need for digital SAT of the difficult level as medium and we are going to enter this prompt. As we enter that prompt, it will generate a question from the problem solving domain of digital SAT and how quickly and easily it will be generating the question. You can see in the screen that it is generating even the answer choices with the correct answer and the explanation to the correct answer. So how speedily it is generating the question. You can see it has given the question, the answer choices and the explanation. Now we'll try to use a prompt to generate a question from trigonometry domain of math section in digital SAT. And we'll enter it as the trigonometry Now that we have generated digital SAT questions from ChatGPT, let me show you how you can build a practice test using these questions on the new format. I've used Edison OS to build the digital SAT mock test. Here I've created question bank that allowed to easily access and manage a large collection of questions with domains tagged to these folders. Now we'll take you to the English folder questions and you can see the English folder here and the questions are tagged by difficult level and also they are tagged by domain. So the questions that you can see here are from poetry, humanities, natural science and literature. These are hard questions that are in the English folder. Now we'll take you to the next folder and that is the maths folder. Here also we have uh, tagged the question by difficult level as medium and hard and also the questions are from dom domain like uh, trigonometry and problem solving. You can see the trigonometry question here and there are also questions, other questions like problem solving and algebra. So I will just show you an another angle of this assessment where you can create multiple sections and you can create tests for them. And if you want to create uh, adaptive test for your students, you can even do that. Now I'll click on this uh, edit rule and once clicked on edit rule, I'll be uh, heading towards this page. Now this adaptive testing ensures that the difficulty of the test adjusts to the candidate's performance in the previous section. With each of the sectional test performance, the following section will adapt and become more harder or easier accordingly, providing a much more personalized testing experience for the candidate. So uh, if you set the ranges between maybe let's say 18 to 27, uh, the questions will get picked 27 questions from the English part 2 tough fold. 
you can set the filter rules and you can choose based on the question tag question type question difficulty and you can choose from the options available as necessary i'll show you the learner side how it uh, how it looks and how the learner can take the test so there's the screen that appears in front of you where the learners will be able to take the test and they can strike out the options to get closer to the correct answer and they can mark for review even that and if they want to jump to the other question they can even do that so there's the another section of the english we will skip this section and move on to the next so there's the question that they can input the values here and this is called numerical input based question where they will be able to input the values here enter the values and they can move to the next question the assessment is done the user or the test taker gets to see the summary of the test that they have taken section summary and they understand where they have spent more time and they try to find the gap and uh, course correct accordingly they get to see the questions what attempt they have done which went incorrect the the explanation to the correct answer even they get the session log they get to understand where they have spent more time which section got ended at what point of time and the test was ended at what time so i hope you have got an understanding how to use the chat uh, gpt to your advantage and how you can easily generate questions for your test thank you so much for watching this video